Ashraf Mugume for the guys on this. Referee blows how we saw. Shall it be Fadiga to go? Let's wait and see from this one. Fadiga checks his time. Strikes one. Oh! Glorious! Ashraf Mugume Fadiga scoring his seventh goal of the season. That was taken by speciality. Ashraf Mugume straight past the wall into the back of the net. Oh dear me. The wall broke. How did that ball go through the wall? That's very, very poor defense really from Barra City. How that ball was given all the space and just goes into the back of the net. Shaban Muhammad looking to score his 13th goal of the season. Shaban takes his time here. Ronald Mutebi in goal here. Shaban! Oh dear me, what a penalty! Beautiful, beautiful finish there from Shaban Mohamed. 13 goals in the start times, Uganda Premier League tally. And with Nelson Senkatuka. What a penalty! Well taken. Good one twos with uh, Mayanja. Up away they go. Arafat Usama. Trying to nip that ball away. Saidi Mayanja. Finally gotten away by Bakali. Mayanja. Look who I go. Go, oh, chance again. Oh, there you go. Shaban Muhammad yet again. And thank you, Speaker. Good ball from Aruna. There goes Shaban. And then, yeah, there you go. Good finish. Oh, deciding to pull on the leg of uh, Mojuzi. Good play. Shaban Muhammad, very, very good play. The flag remains down. And the goal shall be counting. He was on side there, you can see. Tapped it well off the goalkeeper. Or rather, it was actually Saidi Mayanja. Doing very well at the back. Here they come. Flipping that ball for the way. Away to Usama Arafat now. Shaban on the hat trick wait. Up front again. Opega! Opega Katenga. Scoring his fifth goal of the season. Arafa to Sama with a dash. And Openga says thank you very much. Five goals in the start times Uganda Premier League. For the DRC stroke and goal player. Openga Katenga slicing that ball. Past the goalkeeper Ronald Mutebi. KCC 4. Mbarara. Nil. It's another one that will be hoping that this might be the season that makes him a breakout star. The ball is played out to the wing. You know, Sentamu now getting to his captain and gets the return ball. Sentamu rushes in! And they draw first blood! The hitman, Yunus Junior Sentamu, lines the scopes, sets the table, gets his victim, draws first blood here. Again, again, you know, Sentamu finishing off a delightful move and um, giving a viper a But just look at the way they broke the heart of um, Chitara's defense. They were just not in uh, the right position. And uh, clearly it was an own goal coming in uh, from Donato Kelo as the goalkeeper tried uh, to pull up and uh, block the shot that was uh, directed at his goal from uh, Unis Sentamu. But you can see the poor press from uh, Chitara Football Club left them at a square, sixes and sevens, and in the end opened up the heart of their defence, making it easy for... Well, uh, if Vipers were to win the championship this season, then um, they will uh, have halved the deficit between them and uh, KCCA. Intriguing shot here! And Abu Baker doubles the tally! It is done. It is dusted. The Venoms have struck again. At all, but also clearly disappointed. Just look at the run made there by Watambala. And look at the defenders, just two against three or four. Now you can see that how did this happen? And it's exactly a point of uh, players not tracking back in time to try and close out the danger and that's where I feel that uh, Chitara have really shown weakness. Good shielding there from uh, Kambali to free up Lawal. Does excellently well with his technique to plant that ball. But in the meantime, there was a bit of a scuffle off the pitch. Well, a chance missed by Arigan Kalo, but now for the second time. Uh, they won't miss this opportunity. A good cross came in from uh, Nicholas Murray. Good control from Oriti. And a good turn with that powerful rocket for Bull FC. 
Oh, good goal it was from uh, uh, the former Vipers uh, Sports Club forward, Ibrahim Oriti. <laughs> Martin Aprim down to Ibrahim Oriti. Express, my space. Ekas have a chance to find a second goal. What a finish from the Tiger. And Abu Lepsi scored a second goal inside the second half. Well, has scored a very beautiful finish inside at the first 45 minutes. And this was right a cracking. It has given Abu Lepsi a cut of the boy life again. It's the way it goes. Oh, look at that passing. Totally unmarked. Where was Kaulo running? Where was Ramsey Kawaya standing? Well, he controlled. Bombarding just right inside the forbidden area. And uh, Oriti cannot right deliver the cross back inside the box. But again, Oriti went in for the best option. That was a very beautiful final product from uh, Ibrahim Oriti. Ball was struck and the Tiger will now celebrate just right in front of the cameras. Bull FC2 Express Football Club nil. Late 15 matches scored four goals, was tied with Saidi Mayanja at 34% each. But given the nod ahead, I might dare say Saidi Mayanja has moved ahead of him this season. Yeah, that's so true. And a chance for a break here. Looking to slip in a chance. And Villa, full prey. Soul Till of Bright Stars are raking in the numbers. It's a numbers game. And one is the number right now for a man that we thought had not put much into the game. This has been their celebration of recent. There's one. Well, I think one thing that I should now take back is the criticism that are leveled against uh, Shafiq Kakande there. You could see what happened. He makes that run. And um, after all the criticism that he had not had a good game this afternoon, he makes that run. And uh, the Villa players are at sixes and sevens. Threads the pass in to find um, his teammate Mulindi, who finishes delightfully. And you think that was a bit of lazy defending coming in from Messi Villa. Because Shafika Kane makes a run from his own half. And he should be stopped from there. And you just can't imagine how a player can make such strides, makes that run, and nobody's there to stop him. But what a run it was. And equally, what a chance created. But very good finishing from Molindi. Well, Lotalo will definitely be ruining the fact that he did not attack the player on the ball in time. But even when they go on the attack, they're finding gaps in the back. I think somehow AC Villa have really opened up because now they are really desperate to try and get a goal. So they are throwing more numbers up front. Abbas Sheyune on the break, cuts it back. Who's available? Nice interception! Cleared off the line! Does that cross the line? It's a goal! It counts for Villa! Dramatic instances here, but somehow the Jogos roost at the top. But the assistant referee seems to be very sure. But I even think that again, Bright Stars were very clumsy. That's a ball that they should have easily cleared away and not allowed Abastia Ine getting into that penalty area right at that point. Fiat, just take the ball away. Yeah, that I think they can have very little to complain, complain about. about. I think that ball. Looks like it crossed the line. Put on once again from the officiation. Yeah, I think that ball looks like it crossed the line. John Vianney said this gentleman in Now peak that's today. where Bugembe was very, very lousy in that situation. How do you throw in a lazy tackle like he did there and not uh, stop um, his opponent who has the ball already stuck in the water?